she came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, and you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlyle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here. And it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the constant. Information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Thornbridge Manor, the Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now. The target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. I just need to check. That's a bit excessive, I think. Considering the fact that I spotted no less than two routes to get inside the house unseen. We know what we're doing, so don't worry about that.
That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa... Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with... Oh. That is Alexa Carlisle, unofficial leader of the Providence Partners, and last one to be alive. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with absolute discretion. Results and discretion are my speciality. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby, the butler. Madame Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshments? Or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? I prefer to get started. As you wish. If you'll follow me, sir. No need to panic. I feel obliged to point out that current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that a staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madam's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So Sir. please bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets Hello, out sir. that Madame Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not ex exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal.
hidden door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. I'm sure there's more to find in Zachary's room. Greetings, sir. Yeah, hey, Donald, Brooks. Alexa Carlyle here. You need to explain yourself. I demand that you return my call ASAP. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Gotta dig this place. Ancestral graveyard, trophy room, and the office safe is hidden behind a portrait <laughs> with a secret mechanism for uncovering it. It's got real soul. First time here? Yep. Yeah, it's impressive, all right. A safe in Madame Carla's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards.
Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. Mission complete. Well done, 47. up to, mister? Stop right there, sir. We are authorized to use deadly force here. Hey, you, drop... Just keep calm. Seven. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine! Shit!
respond, just listen. Diana can't help you now. You need to find Olivia. She will know what to do. I wish there had been more time. And then there were none. Thank you, Miss Burnwood. Now, it's my turn. Stay down. Boss wants you alive. Yeah? How about now? Over here! Cover me! Walk away! <laughs> or what? You gonna take us all on? Don't. Tell the Constant to start running! You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other, and I meant it. I'll look forward to your call. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. We're all that's left now.